until a few months ago, this Spaghetti Monster was my home lab server. It started over four years ago when I received this Raspberry Pi as a gift. Then I added a custom cooling solution to ensure it could run stable even with a slight overclock, an SSD boot drive and a Coral TPU for Frigate. It took a lot of optimization to get everything running as smoothly as possible, but uh, it worked just fine for all these years. Sadly, during this hot summer it had enough, and I started experiencing uh, random crashes. So, after 4 years of service, I'm retiring my Raspberry Pi with... Uh Using a Raspberry Pi is a great way to start tinkering with Home Assistant, but it's not that hard to overload it. As you can see, I'm running a bunch of custom add-ons, such as Nextcloud, Image, SyncThing, GitLab, and if you also want to use them, you can find my repository in the video description. But now I need to find a replacement for my Raspberry Pi, and I have a few options to consider. I could replace it with a Pi 5, it's very efficient but not very cheap, or I could buy an old server, although they are usually power hungry, or I could buy a mini PC. During my search I stumbled upon this second hand mini PC with a Ryzen 5 5600H for 200 euros, and it's awesome! Here is a quick Cinebench that I ran. Before deploying it, there are a few small changes that I wanted to make. Open it up reveals two RAM slots and a heatsink for the only M.2 and VME SSD slot available. Beneath it there is another M.2 with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, which I'm going to replace with a Coral TPU. And I will also refurbish my old Raspberry Pi SATA SSD for caching purposes. If only I had another M.2 NVMe slot, I would use two mirrored SSDs as boot drives. That would be amazing! But it's also true that I'm not planning to store anything valuable on my boot drive that couldn't be restored from a simple backup. Now it's time to install Proxmox, which is a Debian-based OS for managing virtual machines and Linux containers. I've been waiting to try it out for a long time, but never had the chance to use it. I created a virtual machine for Home Assistant with GPU pass-through, which took me a while to set up, and another half day to restore everything. But here it is, finally up and running, and it works as well! I know, I know what you're probably thinking. For later, I'm planning to take advantage of LXC containers, but for now, I'm fine running everything inside a virtual machine. By now, I would have probably started saying how awesome Proxmox is and how much I love Home Assistant, but suddenly, one of the disks of my family NAS broke. Problems never end, hmm? This is the perfect occasion to do a full upgrade. So. This is a DAS, direct attached storage, that lets me connect 5 hard disks to my mini server through a 10 gigabits USB. This is different from your typical NAS because it doesn't have any processor inside or an Ethernet connection. It's just a big USB external storage. I'm going to put two brand new 20TB Seagate Exos drives inside, along with a few other good disks. In Proxmox I disabled USB Auto Suspend and forced the use of the USB storage driver, because I found that the UAS driver is not very stable, at least on AMD. But other than that, it just works. Now I could spin up another VM with TrueNAS and attach all the disks to it, but it wouldn't give me any real benefits, as Proxmox can already manage ZFS pools. What I'm going to do instead is create an LXC container with cockpit installed, so I still have a graphical UI to create Samba and NFS shares, manage user permissions, and even browse files if I need to. And here it is, my new home lab server, and I'm really satisfied with the result. To know more about how I've configured it, you can find a detailed guide in the video description, and if you have any suggestion on how should I improve it, let me know in the comments.